Hey guys, Jarek here and welcome to Emberscape. For this week, I was invited to take part in the event that's called the Maker's Challenge. And for, the, for that occasion, I did pick the biggest piece of fossilized potato I own. Quite a chunker, right? It's not the, that big, it's around 80 grams. And let's go and inspect it and I will tell you more about the event. Okay, so the most interesting is if there's anything inside of this piece because the crust is very thick and I can't see absolutely anything if there's anything and if you are not aware what I'm interested in more specifically is insects inside because that's the magic of ember because see you never know what you will get inside maybe there is something nice and yeah the crust from all the sides is very invisible from the bottom a little bit visible from other sides no the fact that the light does not shine through the left side of the ember means that there is probably a lot of sand inside which is not great and about the makers challenge the point of this event is to show the diversity of material and the creations that can be made from that material i will leave links in the description to the channels of these people and you will see the all the creative stuff they did and I'm very curious how much size will we lose. Yeah, right now it's 82 grams, so I'm expecting to lose at least 20 grams, at least. This backside looks very problematic. We will lose tons of size in this section. I will need still uh, to think about it. Maybe I will just polish one side, but I don't like one side polished pieces. I like the whole thing shiny. The crust is crazy thick, I can't see anything at all. So even if there is any insects near the top, I will scrape them off because I don't see if there is anything. Nothing, nothing I can do for now. I have to proceed. On the second thought, uh, this piece is so big that it will take me quite a long time to remove all the surface. So what will I do is a timeline? Yep, timeline. So enjoy. changing to 600 grit because we'll be trying to remove all the scratches from the piece before I do that let's take a look how does it look because this piece was roughless and by roughness I mean there is a lot of wood inside and not just wood there is wood and sand <laughs> and it's not that easy to remove all that it, it, most of it will stay inside yeah, it still looks like ugly potato, not gonna lie, but I'm still hoping it will look somehow decent when I will finish. Yeah, so that's how it's looking right now, and let's go ahead and go to the next step, which is removing all the scratches, and then we will go to pre -polish. So it's still ugly duckling, but it looks a little bit better than before. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still hoping that this ugly duckling will rise as beautiful phoenix, but we will see it only as the end result. Now we'll go ahead and pre-polish it with the 1500 grit. I just finished with 600 Dremel bit. This black part is actually wood, I did not, did not know. We can't see it clearly yet, but I hope we will be able to see it. Massive chunk of wood. Let's go ahead. Okay, 
And so we are done with 1500 grit sandpaper and now I want to check if there is any scratches that are visible. With naked eye it's really hard to tell but if we put some UV light on it, it will show us everything. The black dots are the bits of the tree sticking out of this piece. Mm, I don't really see any visible cracks. There is, are some uh, fractures inside of it, but that's not the scratches I'm looking for. And yeah, from the back side also. It doesn't look terrible. So yeah, we will move to 2000 now and we will see some finished product. The sanding is done and now is the last step, which is the polishing. Luckily, Ember polishes really easily. All I need is soft microfiber and any sort of scratch removal. I'm using the one with some wax and silicone in it, but even toothpaste works fine. <laughs> so here I go. Yeah, so what can I say about this piece? <laughs> it's not what I expected. I did expect the sand inside because it wasn't uh, the light wasn't sh shining through from the other side. But <laughs> yeah, I expected sand, not a big piece of wood inside. So basically, if there is any inclusions, we, which is probably not, we won't be able to see them. But the big piece of wood is also considered inclusion. Yeah, I guess I will uh, take an illuminator and try to shine light through it. So yeah, this piece is finished. Well, kind of finished. I'm not sure what else can I do with it. And I will be quite honest. It's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for some sort of insects inside, because 80 grams of fossilized raisin is quite a big trap for insects. And yet, <laughs> in this piece, from this 80 grams, there is more tree or wood than ember itself. And it was uh, cutting quite uh, hard for me. And this piece wasn't turning out well for me, because it was quite hard to cut and polish because of the tree from the other side. But still, I do kind of like it. <laughs> it's quite unique in its own right, <laughs> because it's kind of the biggest piece of wood I have in Ember itself. It does look quite interesting. The only issue is that it's very dark. It's quite hard to display and showcase it. Without, without the light, it's quite impossible to show how, be how beautiful it is inside. So yeah guys, I hope you didn't like this video. If you did, then for sure go and check out the Maker's Challenge from other creators. I, al I already saw a few videos, they are very interesting and very cool creations from their side. I will leave all the information that is needed in the description and see you next time. Bye!